Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Nakhon Si Tamarat province in southern Thailand. And today we're going on a day trip to a place called Lam Talumpuk. It's a really narrow cape and they're known for their seafood, uh, mangrove forests, and viewpoints and beaches. And so we're gonna take a day trip. We're gonna drive down the cape. We're gonna stop at a number of places and then we're gonna have a seafood, local seafood oh, yeah. meal. I know that mantis shrimp is the size of my forearm. I'm gonna share this entire day trip with you, all of the seafood and the viewpoints, the places that we stop. So we are on our way. We're about to enter the kind of the peninsula where the cape begins. So if you can just see on the map, uh, this is Nakhon Si Tamara in southern Thailand. That's the that's the main city right there. And then we're driving. Well, right now we are right here, about to enter the peninsula. But you can see it's going to get more and more narrow when you really get to the to the cape. That's the cape that we're we're going towards. But you can just see the map. It's just full of shrimp farms mostly shrimp farms it's kind of a wetland and mangroves so we're going to drive all the way up here we're going to eat seafood here and we're going to stop at some viewpoints and some beaches and then get all the way to the end viewpoint It's warm. Just stopped in the village right as there's a small just event happening at the temple, I think. So a whole group of people is coming and they all are stopping to eat her snack. Thailand, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thailand. <laughs> It's just like completely sleepy and quiet and all of a sudden like a hundred people are here. Looks like pudding and jelly, but look at that thick layer of coconut cream. Oh, and sticky from the cassava. Like jelly. Mmm. Oh, it's up. Mmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Oh, you turned on the fan for me. Thank <laughs> Oh, wow, that is really good. It's, the bottom is really kind of like sticky jelly from the cassava and sweet. And then the top layer is just pure like condensed coconut cream and salty. And it's served really warm. Yeah, really warm. Like a like a hot dessert. Okay, that was a good little stop. Whoa, look at those speakers. Oh, it's the whole band is on a the whole band is on the truck and massive speakers. Uh, but we're on our way. If we just go down the road here, we'll get to the beach to the coastline where there's a lot of seafood restaurants. That's where we're going next. No, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. That's pretty, pretty green, but what a laid back spot. There are a number of restaurants right here. Uh, there are some places selling fresh seafood and dried seafood as you come. We're on the coast, on the sand. Wow, what a just ultimate laid back seafood dining. We smiled at her as we were driving in and she has this tray, Sadiq Hab. She he has a tray of different shell. What shells are those? Hoi gan. Hoi gan. Hoi gan. We're buying some of her dried shrimp, some of her dried fish, and some of her huge shells, which then they'll be able to prepare for us at the seafood restaurant. But we also pre-ordered some seafood at the restaurant as well. Uh, and the restaurant that we're going to is called Ran Jarun. Ran Jarun. 
And at the same time, Ying is taking this opportunity. Uh, we also are buying kapun kap, some kapun kap, buying some uh, dried shrimp and dried fish to bring back to as some gifts for Ying's family. Kapun mak mak kap. All right, and she just conveniently drove up to us on the motorbike side cart. Oh, perfectly. Okay, and now I think we should go order our seafood. What a spot though, look at this is the kitchen, all just sand floor on the beach, and they just have tables just kind of spread out along the beach, uh, under shelters, under little bungalow cabanas. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, big surprise! Big surprise! <laughs> Sam just exploded on us, uh, and they all, we all thought that was pretty hilarious. Okay, what a kitchen! Oh, wow! Wow! Sweet God, come! เอ้ยเอ้ยเอ้ยอืมโปรดักไทยครับโอเคอือดำไทยไก่เต็มเลยทุกคนด้วยว้าวไทยพรีเซนเตอร์ด้วยโอเคอันนี้กุ้งอะ
then for the gang, which is mantis shrimp, which are alien looking mantis shrimp. And then she's gonna deep fry them with garlic. That mantis shrimp is the size of my forearm. <laughs> One of the reasons I love Southern Thailand so much, but specifically Nakhon Si Tamarat. The food is like ultimate full flavor to the max, chilies to the max, stink beans to the max. But the food in this province of Southern Thailand, for me, some of the best in the world. And the, paired that with the friendliness, with the natural beauty, with ah, Nakhon Si Tamarat. I, I just love it here. And they are, I think, almost ready. He's just flying around the kitchen again. Uh, just such skill, such expertise. Right now, the, the mantis shrimp are going in the, the oil. They were pre-boiled. She added in like literally a couple heads of garlic into it, a little bit of flour to get it crispy, and some pepper, I think. And those are gonna boil to crispy perfection alien mantis shrimp. <laughs> I think this is the final dish that we're getting. It's seawater catfish in a spicy chili stir fry and they're making it spicy. That's what she was chopping up. That is a lot, a ton of green pepper. I think that is everything. Let's move to the table. <laughs> oh yeah, oh that's a lot of chilies. <laughs> and I think we're gonna choose a table out here on the, with a view of the ocean. Oh, first view of the ocean because I just went straight to the kitchen. So quiet, I think one of the best things about here is it's just so quiet and peaceful. They have a variety of tables and little private, uh, little shelters you can sit in. There's ours right there. Okay, what do you want to eat? Thank you. Thank you. I'm just in awe. I cannot express myself in words right now. Feet in the sand, the entire table loaded with seafood, lounge chairs, beach lounge chairs. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's possible to get any better than this with the beach. And not to mention it's so quiet and peaceful and relaxing. And their hospitality friendliness is just on the next level. So much amazing food on the table that I'm almost, it's almost a little bit, uh, I'm in a state of confusion right now of what to even do. I guess I'll just start with this giant plate of, uh, it's, I think it's some type of a local clam, uh, but all they did, this is what we bought off the motorbike cart. Is this a double? No, one of them was, one of them was loosened and fell out into the other shell. Okay. Oh, that's a plump, a plump one. Into the seafood sauce. Lots of garlic, lots of chilies in there. Literally all they did for this was flash blanch it, uh, just to, to slightly cook them, not even fully cook them, and that's it. Then to eat with the seafood sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're extremely fresh. They're sweet, really sweet. And then that seafood sauce, yeah, it's just like salty punch, garlicky, and like that green chili really stands out. And I cannot wait to try the tom som. This is the boiled soup. Lots of turmeric, that's what's making it yellow, but tons also of, uh, of uh, garlic and lemongrass in here. And these are the ones with the eggs, the, the mullet with eggs. And then what, I, what I'm also very interested in why I wanna try this so much is because she used the vinegar from the tonjak, which it's a type of palm, palm tree that grows a fruit. And this is vinegar, soured with vinegar from that, which was definitely home, home produced in a plastic bottle. First, I have to just try that broth. There's shallots in here too, and it's so fragrant. Oh, wow. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> that vinegar, there's all sorts, like depending on which region you're in, there's all different types, variations of tom sum, because it just means like sour, 
boiled, a boil, a sour boil. Because sometimes it can be soured with fruit, sometimes it can be soured with uh, tamarind. She told me this, the vinegar is a little bit sweet. It's almost like like a pickle, a pickle punchy, that soup, that broth, and then with that turmeric contrast, oh, it's so good, amazing. The prize of this fish is the eggs. That just bumps it. Oh, whoa! Oh. That's gonna need some rejuicing, without a doubt. I'm gonna rejuice it. <laughs> there we go. And maybe put a little piece of, what's there? Oh, okay, I got the garlic on there too. There we go. The double sack. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. That texture just kind of like crumbles in your mouth with little beads. Mm. And then wrapped up in that soup. Oh, it just kind of melts in your mouth. Oh, that's incredible. I love the vinegariness of that though. The sweet and sour taste. Mm. Oh, and the, the lemongrass in there and the turmeric. Next dish let's dig into is the bu kai dong, which are, these are, I think that they're mangrove mud crabs. They're mud crabs, uh, which have then been marinated in fish sauce mixture, uh, maybe overnight. Look at that. Let's, let's save them at the bottom. Let's, let's, uh, let the, let's expose that orange, that extremely orange row. Yeah, look at that. Is that, then there's claws here but just look at that bright, bright orange row. It's just popping. Go for that shell, the inside of that shell. Scrape it out. <laughs> it's filled with row. And, wow. It's best to put that onto rice, onto hot rice preferably. Okay, then I'm gonna dig into all those, all those droppings of chilies and garlic. Put that on the bite too. And then seafood saucing, you think? And to bump up the flavor even more, a little bit of the seafood sauce. And now the biggest challenge is to get everything on one bite and balance it on your spoon with hot rice. And that's the perfect bite. Oh, and did I mention the crab is raw? It's just pickled and raw, and this is the perfect bite. Oh, wow. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, it's so creamy, it's so buttery. It's jelly. Oh, that garlic burns. And the chilies and the seafood sauce. It just like melts like butter on the hot rice. That's insane. That is a flavor harmony of everything you could possibly want in your mouth at one single time. That deserves a little, a lean back in the chair. <laughs> That's the ice cream style. Uh -huh. And then you take a bite. Yeah. And there's two ways to eat this. One is the rice way. One is the, the other way, the ice cream cone style. Oh wow. And with the, with the body section, then you get the meat mixed with the roe, with the richness, with the fish sauce, with the, the garlic. <laughs> it's almost like unbearable. To, to handle how delicious that is. And you can just kind of suck it out and squeeze all the, out all the meat. Mm. Oh man. I think after that, it's an appropriate time to garnish the mouth with some fresh stink beans. And it just never goes till the natural vitamin, aroma, flavor, everything about stink beans is makes it one of my favorite foods in the world. We still have a few more dishes to try. Let's try the, the pad pet next, which is the, the stir fried chili, which she just loaded, oh, I'm dripping. Okay, she loaded up with curry paste uh, and she fried with uh, stink beans with tons of green pepper. And this one is made with the, um, with the sea catfish. And add a bit more chilies and stink beans and green pepper. <laughs> Nothing makes me more excited than all of what's on my plate right now. And you probably do want to be careful of the, the catfish with the bones. Okay. Oh wow, that is a bite. <laughs> this is just a pure overdose of flavor on one spoon. Mm. Oh wow. 
that's like a that is literally like eating an entire an entire you know the the pepper shakers that's like eating an entire pepper shaker in one bite the curry paste the kaffir lime leaf and that okay that cabbage so is stunning it's just kind of melts in your mouth it's the texture is so soft but not slimy just tender and melts yeah be careful of the ones okay Next dish, the shrimp baked in this type of pan, which is called op bleu. And then that sauce down there is a mix of salt and soy sauce and garlic and lemongrass that she added in. Yeah, you want one of these shrimp right now? Look at the bottom, yeah. Loaded with coriander roots, uh, lemongrass and garlic. This guy. Drink the head juices. Mmm. Oh wow, it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably sweet and just that mm, That taste of the shell like the vibrant taste of the shrimp the common thing to do in Thailand would be to dip the shrimp into the seafood sauce as With most other seafood get a good little dose of the seafood sauce mm, So fresh so meaty Next dish, which I've been saving, this is like a trophy dish, is the mantis prawn, which is literally, this is forearm sized, a forearm sized mantis prawn, mantis shrimp. Uh, and one takes up the entire plate, just one. Look at that amount of garlic and pepper that she added onto this. You mainly you wanna eat that, uh, that interior flesh like a shrimp. And this is the tail section, but look at that. Just, it's armored, and you can see the flesh on the inside. It's almost purple. Oh, wow. It's like a cross between shrimp and crab. It's almost more like crab meat, but more muscular. Mmm. Just the flakes of it, and the, the sweetness. It's unbelievably sweet and garlicky and pepper. Oh, man and just, it's stringy. That is unbelievable. Like, blown away. Probably the best mantis shrimp I've ever had. And it's so sweet and so juicy yeah. and so... I think the, the way that she fried it, uh, where she boiled it for us quickly, quickly blanched it and then deep fried it. So that is crispy, but that saved all the juices on the inside without getting dried out at all. And another great thing about this restaurant, this place, you're just sitting in the sand, your feet, you're soaking up the, the, the rays of the sunshine through your feet in the sand, and that even makes it all the better. Okay. Back to the table, and I think I've now managed to try everything except for all oh, the oysters. Ying said these oysters are really good. Before this was ice water, or this was ice, just ice, but they've been they've been melted, so you kind of gotta pluck the oysters out of the water. And then for Thai-style oyster eating, you add on crispy shallots, raw garlic, chilies go on, some of the roasted chili jam, just a little bit because it's kind of sweet for me, chili jam, and a little bit of seafood sauce. And then you gotta get your chaser ready, the gatin. The flavor overdose and the chaser. Mmm. That's extraordinary too. That is a combination that just, it's so pleasing because there's so many layers and dimensions of flavor. And then that cool, plump, slimy oyster. Whoa, maybe, I don't know if it will hold both of us. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close call. Okay, maybe it's better just for you. Okay, go to the, to the water. I think one of the amazing things here is just it's so quiet and peaceful too. Uh, but we are here on a weekday, so that's also why it's very quiet. There's only one other family here eating with us. And the entire beach is just completely quiet, but 
Uh, definitely if you come on in here on the weekend, I think it's a popular place to come. But if you can come here on the weekday when it's quiet like this, oh man, is it pristine and beautiful and quiet and peaceful. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> if you happen to have a three-year-old, there's no better place to let their energy out than right here on this expanse of a beach. Wow, I love it. And one more thing. There is one thing. Uh, Hi, Tom. Our total bill came to 1,520 baht. That's about $50. Uh, that could have definitely been for four to six people, for sure. Do I have sand all over my face? Yes, I do. Ultra laid back, friendly, happy service, outstanding seafood, pristine sand, like stretch of sand beach. Okay, and so that completes the seafood meal here. <whistles> Cannot recommend enough. From here, we're just gonna drive down, I think it's another 15 minutes to the end of the cake. <laughs> They are so, yeah, so unbelievably friendly and nice. And he said he's a former policeman, you? Yeah, he is a former policeman. Uh, and they just like, oh man, they treated us like family there. What a what a place. You get to a checkpoint where it's kind of a national park down here and you pay just 20 baht to enter to the next section. But I think it's about a 15, 10, dri 10 minute drive or so down to the end of the Cape. So oh, this is it. This is the very end of the Cape. The road comes to an end. Talk about peace. We're the only ones here. The mangroves meet the sea, but the sea is so un un just unbelievably calm and glassy. Not like barely even a ripple because this is the end of the, it's just surrounded by so many bays. It's so peaceful. It's so quiet. But this is definitely not a swimming beach. Uh, there's lots of shells. It's kind of more muddy. Well worth it to come out here to the to the end just for a look, just to see, just to just to admire this landscape. It's like almost otherworldly. So cool. Amazing day trip from Nakansi Tamarat. Right here from the end of Lam Talumpuk. This is where I'm going to end the video. An amazing day trip from Nakansi Tamarat. That seafood meal was for sure the highlight. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon. That way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Nakansi Tamarat, Southern Thailand. See you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.